All right, so this is a Motorola Droid X exclusive to Verizon. As you can quickly tell from my hands, that this phone is really big. It contains a 4.3 inch screen, but at the same time, despite how big it is, you can see that the phone is also really, really thin. But for the most part, this video is not gonna cover the hardware or what it looks like. I'm just gonna quickly show you what I did to my phone and basically what, it, what the software looks like. So the power button is up here and the moment I press it, the lock screen comes up. So to simply unlock it, you just drag it to the right. Okay, so this is my home screen. The home screen, if you don't know already, this is not the default home screen that comes with your Droid X. The default screen, home screen launcher is a custom one built by Motorola. Personally, I don't really like it, so I, uh, first thing I did was I downloaded Launcher Pro and used that as my home screen launcher. So the reason I use Launcher Pro is because I could customize it however I like. And for for my Droid X, I set it up so that there was five screens, as you can tell. That is one, two, three, four, and five. You can have up to seven, but I never found the use for an additional two more screens. I found five to be the perfect number for me. So as you can tell, that as I flick through the screens, the phone is really responsive. It's not lagging or it's glitchy. It's really smooth animations and stuff. So that's really good compared to the original Droid that I had. The sometimes, sometimes the the phone will like freeze for a second or so before it will, uh, before it will move on to the next screen. Um, you can also press the home screen. It'll display all your screens at once, and you can quickly select a screen to jump to. That's also a very useful feature. Um, in the middle right here is the app drawer. You click on it and it'll display a list of all the applications that you downloaded. So you can simply just scroll and click on an application that you want to open. Once again, as you can see, as I flick through the drawer, it, uh, it is also very responsive and smooth. So yeah, okay. Um, on the top is the notification bar that you'll always see in Android phones. It is very convenient to quickly look at a glance what kind of notifications um, hit you when they come. So to, you could use your finger to touch the top and drag down to so that it becomes like a pull down menu. You could quickly see what kind of notifications are live for me right now. It's really handy when you're busy doing something and something pops up. It won't like intrude your screen like the iPhone and stop you from doing what you were doing. It'll just show up on the top and you can just quickly pull down to see what it is. So yeah, that's that. And I'll show you quickly the browser. This is I already loaded the screen, but as you could tell right away that the web page, the font is way too small and there's no way I could read that, right? So a handy feature that probably all are used to is just the pinch zoom. You use two fingers to pinch and to zoom in and zoom out of the page. So I could zoom in as far as I had to, and then I could zoom out to whatever I please. So as, as you can see, the animation is really fluid. It's not laggy, it's not glitchy. It's really nice and smooth. So that's pinch zoom on the browser. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I have some widgets here. I get to customize it whichever way I want and however I like it. The dialers here, nice big touchscreen um, pads that you could touch to dial something. Uh, dial a number and here are some of my contacts. So yeah, I just basically wanted to show you like what the phone kind of looks like and the way I set it up and how responsive it is really. It's my main focus because compared to the Droid, I found this phone to be much more smooth and much more, much more natural to move around with. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any um, questions or comments, just let me know and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.